Hello there guys, welcome back to a new video. In today's video I'm going to be talking about why this car is so imperfectly perfect. <laughs> So this car, for, for starters, the reason why this car is so imperfectly perfect is because you can use this daily and not worry about it. Where this car is, what, it's like 14 years old now, uh, it's had its first share of dings and bumps and it's got scrapes and all that sort of stuff around it. Therefore, why should I care about, you know, keeping it looking presentable if it's already trashed? So, I don't have to worry about where I park it. I don't have to worry about taking it down country lanes or anything like that and having to push it put it into bushes and stuff. It's a car that you can drive and enjoy and drive the absolute crap out of, which is what I love about this car. As you can see by the intro, I just full on sent it in that wheel spin and I was bouncing off the rev limiter. I would not do that if I had a nicer car. But because this car is old and not worth an awful lot, why the hell not? You know? Um, it is quite fun to drive. Like I said, I take it down country lanes all the time and just dart about in them. Because uh, that's what this car is really, really made for. And you'll see that in the next video that will come up on my channel. Um, the next video that is coming up on my channel, I've already started filming for. Because um, this one is going to take a little bit of time to do. But, hey ho. So another reason why this car is so imperfectly perfect is because it's cheap to repair. Um, it's cheap to buy parts for, it's cheap to run. Um, at the moment I've actually got this running on Shell V power. This is the first ever time I've put Shell V power in and people have said to me, oh you'll notice it pulls better and all that. And to be honest I have noticed it does. It does pull slightly better, but it's still slow as hell. Um, but this car ain't really made for open roads like what we're on at the moment. We're on the dual carriageway. It's not really made for these sort of roads, it's more or less made for um, the back roads, the country lanes, for the fun tight twisty stuff, that's what this car's made for. Um, as I said, you'll see that all in the next video. Um, so yeah, that's another point as to why this car is so imperfectly perfect. And another point. This car is imperfectly perfect because of the amount of noise it makes from the exhaust. Um, yes, I know the exhaust is bodged on. Yes, I know the exhaust still has a blow that I have not fixed because my mate's been too busy to help me with it. But when you're driving along, you don't hear the blow. Uh, it's only when it's at idle when you're stationary that you'll hear the blow. But other than that, it's fine. But since I've had this new exhaust on, it makes one heck of a blooming racket. ever so much for watching today's video be sure to like comment subscribe all that good stuff um i highlighted a few of the points as to why this car is so imperfectly perfect there are probably more that i've missed but these are the first ones that i came up with off the top of my head i thought i'd get more car content out um because i've been slacking on that a lot lately so welcome back to the car videos and i hope you enjoy your stay